deserve the glory. You alone deserve the power. You are great, O oh God. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. You walked upon the sea. You raised the day. You were great in majesty. Mighty God. Everything written about you is great.
tandiko musinza ero mutendereze muhulumizo rakasera kafana nanga kano exalt him and magnify him for such a time as this muite yakuwa yaira oyagabiri call him your jehovah jaila the provider of your life kube muite yakuwa yawe call him jehovah yawe kubanga aliye chochali because he is what he is muite yakuwa shalom call him jehovah shalom kubanga ale semire me munyumba yo he has brought peace in your life la bale semire me mufamire yo peace in your family la bale semire me mufumbo peace in your marriage la bale semire me mumuereza he has brought peace in your ministry muyimu seroli mugulumise exalt him and magnify him we chichi wacho na give him all the due glory come to your sunny day yes show him lord jesus your worthy o sunny day katonda wa isaiah your worthy god of israel o sunny day na nyini wuyisa your worthy god of authority mpologoma ye ya lion of judah banage nzimva mu bantu abaina kabaka i come from a clan that has a king mva mu mu bantu abaina kabaka sosi sosi echikana ya bantu abaina kabaka i have i come from a people who have a king nebwe bala bakabaka babwe when they see their king bagalamira kutaka they prostrate bevulunga they actually lie down bamuite mpologoma they call him the lion bamuita bemba musota they call him the, the great snake na yego ina kabaka wabakaba we have the king of kings muite elinya give him a, a name mukubire kukalulu you can make an alarm of joy before him na ulira yagama ncho kusinza bobo sinza mukama ino kuogera mudobozi esendekevu mpola mpola eyo dini i i had someone say that if you are praising god speak calmly that is religion nagama ji era tolekana and don't shout at the top of your voice ah no way obanga bensi bwe bala bakabaka if the worldly people see a king balekana they can shout nagama ji maguru nyono and they say oh maguru nyono what about you atagwa ina kabaka wabakaba ogwa ina kabaka you have the king of kingira wa yuda the lion of judah omulangira we mirembe the prince of peace ipologo maya yuda the lion of judah omwana we ndiga the lamb of glory uyimuka just offer your salutation saluting amuchitibwa just offer your salutation o saluting a wafulungula mkubira nduru when you are saluting a general kwa ba saluting a general will you be silent o bikorera mukama when you are saluting a general go saluting a general will you stand meek o no stand up straight oh imirira bwanto go of a salutation no mwa salutize of a adoration no mukurumiza mbitibwa bye come on someone amen mulokole come on someone mulokole famutini hallelujah amen hallelujah amen just call him someone baka manya go muitaka mukurumiza just call him something baka bwo musuta oh he deserves all the honor akwani dechitibwa na matendo he deserves all the praise akwani damatendo have all the power akwani tamanyi na buyinza he deserves all the glory akwani tchitiwa yesu father we raise up our voices to you there is none like you kama tele yalinga gwe hallelujah amen hallelujah amen mukama hallelujah amen yesu hallelujah amen mukama Precious Holy Spirit we welcome you into this place. Sema moyo mtukufu tukwani lisa machifu chino. You deserve the honor. Ogwani dechiti wacho. You deserve the praise. Ogwani damatendo gona. You deserve the glory. Ogwani dechiti wacho na. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you called the person I told you to call? Okay. Hallelujah and he is doing something about it. Yes. Hallelujah. God is so good. Katonda mulonje nyo. I want to welcome you today. Mbani lizamwe nalero into his presence. Mukubera okwa mukama. I am excited to be alive at such a time as this. Nemusanyo funyo kubanga nchali mulamu mukisera ngacho. I prayed for this time. Nasabira birona bisera bino. I said I would be alive. Nengaba mukama nkuma ngandi mulamu. How many people remember? Bamekanga mucha jukira. When we used to come for the prayer clinic. We twajiranga mu gao power prayer clinic. I said I used to tell the women. Nagamba nga bachala banange. Another woman. Ntitali mukazi mulala. Will not sit at your children's graduation. Ali tula kumatikita gaba nabange. Another woman. Omukazo mulala. 
will not sit at my children's wedding. I said, God is giving me life. Hallelujah. Amen. And God, we thank you for life. You have not let us go down into the pit. Because the grave cannot praise you. You have given me breath so that I can praise you. Thank God for the breath you still have. You can praise him and worship him. Hallelujah. Amen. And you are not going to perish as the disobedient but as Rahab you are going to live by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. You can sit for a minute. We are going straight into the word today. We don't want to delay those of you who have to go back and work. We are irrigating. Hallelujah. Amen. Karamoja will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Amen. The visionary Pastor Robert Kayanja. For being faithful. For being a good steward. Of God's finances. Amen. God has not left us alone. Hallelujah. Pastor Robert Kayanja, we are going to build a 10,500 seater cathedral. It was built. When he stood up to tell us that he's going to build a Kanisa Yomutolo Gumunech Nemovitano, Yachukola. Now, when he said we are going to feed Karamoja, in COVID we fed. In Sudan we took food. Look at this malnourished little boy. Look at how beautiful the boy looks today. Are you checking what I told you to check? How is it? How is it? Yes. Um, wow, 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 wow. So God is good. Katonda e katonda murunji. Um, 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 please tell her I was telling her to check on the network because there are people complaining. And if something of hunger, when we started taking food, look at how handsome he looks now. Judge and Jalariamo Kan Kanyanera Bobulunji. God is good. This old woman could not even stand. She was crawling. Look at her now. God is good. And all the time, our God is good. Thank you for giving to Karamoja. We have nine tractors working in Karamoja. And, uh, and, 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 and because of that, we are going to need fuel uh, to keep these tractors on ground. And, uh, and, and, and uh, to keep on renting the six because we sent three, we bought three. Hallelujah. Amen. God is dearly good. And as, as I've told you, we are grateful to Pastor Kayanja. This money that has been a blessing to Karamoja, you can get so many side cheeks. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we thank God for the vision and the upholding of the vision. We also thank God for the, the, the grace that he has given him to spearhead this vision. You know, and I want to, you to know that your money is in safe hands. Pastor will never get other side chicks. Those seeds will accomplish the cause.
cause at which you've sown your seeds. Hallelujah. Atena ogenda kuita ogenda kufuna omukisa kubanga aline ttaka jimu. And you'll actually be blessed because this is a fertile ground. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Katonda ye katonda omulungi. And all the time. Era buli kasera. God is good. Mokama sigala mulungi. So I want to encourage you. Mbaza mama. We still need to send food to Karamoja. Tucheta go kuereze mmere lya bakaramoja. That harvest is not going is not ready to be eaten. Katia byetu akasiga tebina tuka kula kuvilia. And even when it's ready we we'll need to add milk, sugar uh, and, and, and and other vitamins, natural vitamins. Nebwe bina babitu se tujja kubatekera mwaka sukali eta nebizimbo mubiri. So that they, they you can see this transformation. Also bolo kulabe nchuka chuka ya bakalamoja. So those that are watching as you give today to Karamoja. Abatulabanga betuwaere lya lya bakalamoja. May God give you good measure pressed down shaken together. Katona namu abadize chigere chirunje chikatidwe chisukondidwa. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Have you told her to call Enoch Pastor Pastor Enoch? Is she is that what she's doing? And is she checking it? on the line and people are saying it isn't good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody is saying, Mommy, I'll come back and testify about the prayer clinic. Many people got miracles and we're about to have a women's prayer altar. So please register to testify. I, I remember people who have gotten twins. Uh, people whose marriages have been restored please don't be afraid to testify the bible says they overcame the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony whenever you testify you are overcoming the enemy when you boast about what God has done for you. When you boast in what the Lord has done for you, you've given it the devil a horse kick. Amen. He's as if you are testifying about his Co-wife. If you begin to praise your God, you will hurt the devil. So the best thing to do is to testify about God's goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. We are going to go into the word quickly. And um, the numbers are on the screen for those of you who want to give to Karamoja. We want to thank the people on ground like Pastor Chris, like Pastor um, Sarafina. They are doing a good work. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I also have a testimony in my house. God blessed me to see my future daughter-in-law. Again, do kubeira mukamu. Yeah, you know ya again do kubeira mukamu. Tabani wange. Hallelujah. Mukama mulunji nyo. God is good. Erebi seira biyona. And all the time. Asigala mulunji. God remains good. Hallelujah. Amen. Nenda ba mukamu ana. Yeah, I saw my daughter-in-law. Hallelujah. I believe to see the Lord's goodness. Let me hammer down the enemy. Me who was called a barren woman. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, I've begun to see. 
my daughters-in-law. I'm about to get hold of my grandies. Hallelujah. Amen. I dedicate them in the precious blood of Jesus. I destroy all the demonic altars that have been built to tear down the destiny. I stand on Jeremiah 1 turn. All the demonic altars you've been uprooted even if you're from the clan. God has overcome you. <laughs> Every ancient gate has been lifted from my home and my family. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Father, one more time we present ourselves as vessels willing to be used of you. We pray that if there is anything in us that is more of us, oh God, that we will decrease even as we increase. Anoint our tongues like pens of ready writers for clarity of speech so that no one will live in the same way they can. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall this program. Hallelujah. The devil is shivering because he knows that you, you are about to get your visitation. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. And today I want to talk about a spirit that is affecting so many Christians. And they don't know that it is a spirit. But today we are going to come against that spirit because it is a spirit that has caused discouragement many people have fallen away because of this spirit others have stopped praying others have walked away from church and from the presence of God because of this spirit but today we are about to realize that it is a spirit and we are going to come against it in our lives. And this is called the spirit of delay. It is a demonic spirit from hell. But I want you to know that in the kingdom of God, delays are not denials. As much as the enemy wants to delay you, God is fighting to see your miracle. Get to you in time. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why he says the vision, though it tarry, yet it will not delay. It will come to pass. You will see it with your eyes. And today we are going to look at a man who was delayed. Hallelujah. I want to know what is, what is happening here because he has left. What is going on? He has walked away. Why have you walked away? What's going on? Hallelujah. What is going on? Can you put that right? Those are my prayer warriors. Is it okay right now? Pardon? Not yet. Okay. Has he called them? Okay. It is in Daniel chapter 10. Daniel is coming. 
in the third year of Cyrus king of Persia a message was revealed to Daniel whose name was called Belshazzar the message was true but the appointed time was long Daniel got a true message from God but the Bible says the message was true but the appointed time in his own eyes was too long and that is what you are seeing right now you know that God will perform but you are considering the appointed time and the appointed time is too long and you are wondering God what you have told me is true but the appointed time is too long what do I do we are going to find out why the appointed time was long you have a message that you are getting married you have a message from God that you 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 are time too long Daniel gets an answer Daniel in a very short time and the answer is in, is, is in Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 then he said to me do not fear Daniel for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God your words were hard your prayer was hard that delay does not mean that God has not heard your prayer that delay does not mean that the heavenlies are against you God said to Daniel from the day you set apart yourself to pray heaven had I want you to know that from the day you set your heart to pray heaven had heaven stood up heaven began to walk so the delays are not an indication that God has not heard God has heard you and he is operating on your behalf but listen your words were hard and I have come because of your words the angel is saying that but the prince of the kingdom of Persia delayed me now Persia did not have a prince Persia was ruled by a king but they are princes in dark places they are princes in places of wickedness they are princes that sit among principalities and in Ephesians chapter 6 I believe it is verse 12 the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but we wrestle against principalities against powers of darkness against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness 
Moyo in high places. Move fabi gulu mifu against my um, other version says against prince area balankira in high places. Move fabi gulu mifu. There is someone, something seated. Wali wachi mami de chitu de in the spiritual realm. Mochigara chomoyo that has been designated. Ngacha pangi wachi take duayo from hell. Okufa mukayana to delay. Okuwe sawe bibio. So the angel is saying to Michael. Malaika gamba Daniel that the. God sent me the day you began to pray. But this principality stood there and delayed me. And delayed me. The moment the world of darkness had that an angel has been dispatched with Daniel's miracle. They also released their own angel. And they said, stand in the way. And delay. You will not stop it. But you can delay. I want you to know that the devil cannot stop what is from God. But he can delay. So he said, This prince, the territorial prince, standing over Pasha, stood in the way. The angel is explaining. Some of you, you get delays. And instead of going into spiritual warfare, you go to the bar. Some of you get delays. And instead of fighting a war in the spiritual realm, you take drugs. You go into depression. But delay is from the pit of hell. And it has to be fought by prayer. It has to be fought. By fasting. The angel is saying, This prince delayed me. We thank God that Satan only delays. He cannot stop because the angel eventually arrived. Your angel is about to arrive with your breakthrough. Satan can delay but he cannot destroy. Before we see what, what, what the angel did, let us see why Satan wants to destroy, chooses to delay. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. So when Satan realizes that you are about to get your miracle, he says, let me make this woman sick with delay. Let me make this man sick with delay. And the way that the sickness of delay works, it is the heart that is affected. And most people's heart, hearts are drawn away. 
from God. Because hope deferred makes the heart sick. Some people drop their marriages and walk off. Because hope deferred makes the heart sick. Others close down their ministry. Because hope deferred makes the heart sick. So the heart begins to misbehave because it is sick. And instead of praying, instead of, of, of having faith, you begin to do what is contrary to the word of God. So that Satan, can, you will join Satan in destroying your own breakfast. When your heart is sick, you say the wrong things. You begin to say it will never happen. No because your heart is sick hope deferred makes your heart sick and Satan wants your hope to be deferred because you need a clean heart to worship God but the only way that he can sicken your heart is to make to defy your hope so that you who was hoping in something will give up and begin to act contrary to the word of God. But I have good news for you. Proverbs 23 verse 18 says, There is surely a future for you. And your hope shall not be cut off no matter how long the delay is I have come to prophesy to you today your hope shall not be cut off we come against every spirit of a sick heart your hope shall not be cut off your heart will be in anticipation. Your heart will wait expectantly. Your heart will wait rejoicing. Your heart will wait joyfully. Your hope shall not be cut off. And Daniel, but Daniel, even though he had waited for 21 days, he was still praying. His hope she was not cut off. Do not let Satan steal your hope. Do not let Satan defy your hope. Walk in hope. Walk in expectation. Walk in joy. Your hope should not be cut off. Because he wants to defy your hope. And sicken your heart. So that you cannot worship. So that you cannot pray. Have you ever had a sick heart? Have you ever had a You know, when someone invites you for a date, for those of you who are not yet married, and they keep on postponing. When they want to take you out for tea, they say, not today, but next week. Your heart will fall sick. And you cannot even wear a spiritual warfare. 
I've seen people get malaria and they cover themselves in bed. Yet in their bloodline they don't have malaria. Now the devil is rejoicing, I've done that I have deferred their hope. Now their hearts are sick. Have you ever seen someone waiting to go abroad? And their visas are continually denied. There is a certain hope deferred that makes you so sick. If you are in that position, I cannot even tell you, let's go and pray here in the prayer garden. You will not come. Because your hope has been defined. Your heart is sick. And that's what the devil wants to do. But as I know, from today after this message, your hope shall not be cut off. Don't let the devil play his game. Someone told me, I don't have words when I'm praying for my husband. I no longer have words. I just want to cry because I have prayed for too long. Because it is deferred hope. Deferred hope. And that's what the devil wants to do to, to postpone this hope. So that you kill your miracle for yourself. And you are not the, this has, you are not the first person that this has happened to. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 17. But brothers and sisters, when we were orphaned by being separated from you, for a short time, out of our intense longing, we made every effort to see you for we wanted to come to you certainly I Paul did again I did again and again but Satan blocked our way so Satan stood before the apostles and prevented them from going to the people they needed to reach out to. He delayed. And sometimes some of the, the devil will join you to delay by deferring your hope. But I want you to see what happens in the spiritual realm. That is why you should not be discouraged. Hey. But the prince of the kingdom of Pasha withstood me 21 days. But Michael, one of the chief angels, came to help me. When the devil, the demonic realm is dispatching, it is its angels of delay. The heavenly realm is dispatching angels to fight angels to contend. So the angel is saying, I'm here. Because even though the prince of darkness delayed me, but heaven says, the chief fighter, heaven says, Who 
protests. He said while I was there. Delayed with your miracle. The principalist is standing before me. I saw. Angel Michael. The chief angel. Coming with his sword. And he began to contend. Against those principalities. You know it is only spirit that can contend against him. Because Daniel was still on his knees. He was still praying for his breakthrough. Heaven continued to operate. Heaven continued to fight. I want you to, to continue and stay on your knees. Activate the heaven. Activate the spiritual realm to contend on your behalf. Cast out the spirit of delay. Cast out principalities. Those princes of passion. Those princes of Greek. That wickedness in high places. Cast them out. And say to them, Heaven is dispatching angels to contend against you. You spirit of delay. I have noticed that before every major breakthrough in, in, in my life, there will be something that wants to cause delay. Even now, before my son's engagement, I've already testified here how someone gave me something dangerous to, 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 to cause. Consume. And I was down. But I know the spirit of delay. And so I refused to stay in my bed. I said I am going to go and preach. I'm going to stand up against Satan. This is not my time to die. And everything on this calendar of God for this year shall not be delayed. I went on my knees and I said heaven begin to dispatch angels contend with this prince of passion that wants to delay my breakthrough. That wants to delay what God has for me. There are many people falling sick on their weddings so that the, the wedding can be postponed. Principalities, Prince of Passion. You have a visa appointment and then you sleep. Spirit of delay. You have to cast that out. Before that day. The pastor is left as if I took period on. But the heavens are dispatching a fighting force. As long as you can stay on your knees. As long as your hope is not too far. 
I know so much about this spirit. So that every time there is delay. For me, I know that something from God is coming. I want you to know that Satan is fighting you. Because what is coming is from him. That is why you cannot lose hope. That is why you cannot say I will not, I, 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 I have given up on prayer. That's why you cannot say I can't do it anymore. No. There are angels ready to be dispatched to contend with this spirit. The angel Michael was dispatched and he was told go and push. Push this priest out of the way so that our message can reach Daniel. Hey, there is a principal being pushed out of the way so that your miracle can come to you if you do not defy your hope. There is an there, there is an angelic help coming your way. If your hope will not be defied. The heavens are on your side. If you can only have faith. Daniel was found on his knees. He had not given up. He had not gone home. And he, he had no idea that his prayers were affecting the spiritual realm. The prayers you pray are affecting the world. They are affecting the war against principalities. That is why you should not be angry with people that delay you. Because we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. This evil spirit of the prosperity will take on someone that loves you dearly. And they, they cause you to come late. And you begin to fight them in the flesh. But it's the other evil spirit fighting against you. You have to stay on your knees. No, Gamba, no. Oh, Gamba, Neta. Gamba, Laika, Mikairi. Menjo, Michael. Fight. With every spirit of delay against me in the spiritual realm, fight, contend with everything standing in my path. Satan can delay you, but he cannot destroy what God has for the message is true. But the appointed time appears long. There is something happening in the spiritual realm. Every time you pray, there is an army activated. A robot second. An army is activated. To fight in the spiritual realm. Um, um, army is activated. To, 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 to remove. An army is activated. To contend. To 
without contending with the time of your breakthrough. He said the angel Michael came to my rescue after I had been delayed. This is an angel testifying before Daniel. When will your angel come? You've actually forfeited everything you've left. I don't have men that see me. Let me get be a second woman, third, fourth. Let me just sleep around after all. And Angel Michael said, What had you known? You would have stayed on your knees and begin to stir up the heavens. Now you left your position, now you are in someone else's marriage. And Angel Michael said, Will they just coerce me to leave this place and go? The owner of the rightful owner does not participate anywhere. Now the devil, yes, the devil now has overcome you. You don't even come to church. Others actually visit the witch doctors, the shrines. The witch doctor was praising herself that I have people in church but they belong to me. And actually pointed out the names that those people belong to me. Now if your hope has failed to that down there now you who knew God you are part of the prince of Persia never expect angel Michael to come through for you as long as you stay on your knees as Daniel you destabilize the spiritual realm you put up war and Daniel didn't even know what was happening but the more he stayed on his knees the more heaven dispatched him now the person bringing delay was eliminated So it's about time we realized that delay is a spirit. That's the, the demonic realm will use to defy your hope so that your heart becomes sick. And I know that so many people I'm talking to even on TV, even online are watching me with sick hearts. You are watching me with a sick heart. You are saying I gave up. I gave up on my marriage. I gave up on my children. I gave up on that ministry. I gave up. Your heart is sick. Because hope deferred. Makes the heart sick. But I want you to know. The Bible also says your hope. Will not be cut off. Stay hopeful. As you wait. Stay hopeful. 
Stay on your knees. Sigala kuma vivi so that you can disorganize that demonic realm. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. If the devil can make your heart so sick that you cannot pray because the hope has been deferred. He has already won. If he can make your heart so sick that you don't want to listen to the word he has already won. If he can make your heart so sick that you don't want to be in church, he has already won. He has already won. But today, Today, Lero, your hope shall not be cut off. You are going to pray. Michael, one of the chief angels, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the Prince of Pasha. Malaika Mikaili na ja o kunyamba kubanga nalinde ke dua wonze ka no mulangira webu perus. And why Pasha? Is this was the, the kingdom in which they were. So every territory has territorial spirits. Yes. There are princes over Kampala also that can delay. Not of the earth, but of, of the spiritual realm. So you don't say, I don't live in Pasha. No. It is territorial spirits. That want to own you. that will defy your hope and delay your breakthrough. But heaven is ready to fight so that your miracle arrives in time. It will not delay. And even though it looks like it has delayed, yes, it will come to pass. Don't join the devil in destroying it. It's not worth it. Don't join the devil in destroying it. Because that's what he wants. I was talking to a lady recently who is believing God for her marriage. You know some of these side chicks are sent from the pit of hell. They, are, they, they, they themselves are princes of Pasha. So she, you know the side chick buys people, will buy a, blo a blogger to abuse her, to say, then the side chick will say, will buy another blogger to write, then, you know, and, 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 and all those things, 
are propagating a spirit of delay. But most of all, it is propagating deferred hope, a, a sick heart, a sick spirit. So I say to her, once your heart is sick, you will not pray. If all was well with her, she would not be doing all those things. But the reason she's doing them, so that the, 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 the reign of principalities can sicken your heart. So that you don't want to pray anymore. So that you don't want to, 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 to see anything pertaining to God. Because the, the, the miracle itself is delayed and now there is this person who is who is working, who knows exactly how principalities operate. They operate by discouraging you. They operate by showing you that it is impossible. That, that is how principalities operate. They work on your imagination. That is why the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imagination. So when, when, when you are dealing with spiritual weapons, you have to cast down all those strange imaginations. But if you are kneeling down, going on your knees, and you are thinking about the, the blogger she bought, you will not pray. So I said, thank God that you don't have to spend money on a blogger. Thank God that you are depending on him alone. That is enough. That shows you are a winner. Because you've not injected money. But if Satan can defy your hope and make your heart sick, you will not pray. I've seen people who go down on their knees and they are not crying because of conviction. They are crying because of pain. They can't pray. They can't speak in tongues. Their heart is sick. You are not affecting the spiritual realm. When your spirit is sorrowful. That is why Mary said, my soul. Magnify the Lord. Let your soul magnify the Lord. My spirit praises his name. You cannot have a sick state and affect the spiritual realm. The Bible says the, 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 ever since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has been attacked by violence. And the violence take it by force. If your heart is sick, you can't even be violent in the spirit. And yet you need to be violent. Because these principalities, they are not being humble and meek. They are standing in the way. 
you need to be that man who stands up and say I come against you I put up war and it is not carnal but it is mighty and I pull you down you stronghold standing in the way of my breakthrough you can't do that when your heart is sick and yet they violent I have to take it by force I said, let everything that you are seeing move you to be violent in the spirit. Not someone who, is, who has, uh, has had a spiritual heart attack. You know, there is a physical heart attack and a spiritual heart attack. Some people are already on oxygen in the spiritual realm. When you switch on channel 44, praying hours, you say, ah, no, let me watch a movie. I need something to encourage me. No, you call be movie. You are not oxygen, your heart is sick. The things of God, you are so discouraged. That is the only way Satan can steal your breakthrough by changing your heart and giving you a sick heart. Because hope deferred makes the heart sick. But from today, your hope shall not be cut off. Because you know who you are fighting. Has Satan delayed every, anything in the spiritual realm? Stand up and fight. Get out of bed. Stop crying. Activate the spiritual realm to fight in your favor. Let the angel Michael's be dispatched. Don't wail and weep and you know. I invited someone here. For for uh, the, the, uh, the the altar days of prayer, and we are having one soon. And this time it was a man, which is so sad. It was a man. He had problems in his house. A man, musajja, and he said, "I don't even know whether I'll pray." Because when I come. In the presence of God. I think of the years I've prayed. And my heart breaks. And my mind wanders. And I knew I was dealing with someone with a sick heart. I said, the, 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 the hope has been deferred. And your heart is sick. You are in spiritual ICU. Referral. So that even the move of God will not touch you.
someone online is saying wabula mami mpulirango onsi tukide <laughs> because that's this is this is the disease that satan is giving christians now and the end what the stanja parties kubaloko and yet the angel said to daniel from the day that you began to pray your prayers were received ngata malaika yagamba daniel to nako atandiko okusaba esala zo zaya nukurwa so your prayers have already been received but Satan knows that if he makes your heart sick you yourself will destroy your breakthrough he said to Daniel that the day you set yourself apart to pray your prayers were received your prayers were heard Yagamba Daniel nakole wetege ko kusaba esala zo zaulirwa So today lero may your hope esubiri ya fe never be cut off bimwe kusalibwa ko And you need to spread this message of love to someone bono obubaka bwo kwagala tubusasanya eri banafe because the devil and his kingdom they know how to defer hope so that you yourself will give up on what god has for you but from today your hope shall not be cut off esubira fetedigenda kusalibwako haleluya amen haleluya amen let us stand up katimirira we are just going to pray a short prayer tugenda kusaba sala nyimpi today because i like to leave you digesting these messages njagalango kule kango zo wenkulu mekuwa kabuno because i know that so many people's hearts are sick manyemi tima jaba antu banje mirwadda hallelujah father in heaven cheta fale muguru we come to you today to zajoli lero we humble ourselves and we ask you to have mercy on us father we have sinned and we have fallen short of your glory have mercy upon us o god for our lack of faith hope deferred has made our hearts sick we have been too sick to hold on too sick to pray we are on spiritual oxygen tulikumuko oxygen yomoyo the icu of the spiritual realm icu yechigere chomoyo satan stan has made our hearts sick alwazize mitima jafe but we ask you oh god to kusaba mukama to have mercy on us to sasire so that our faith will be invoked and that we will make war we know that ever since the time of John the Baptist the kingdom of God has been attacked by violence and the violence are taking it by force today we come against these principalities these powers of darkness these rulers of powers of darkness this wickedness that exalts itself on earth Satan we warn you that you have no hold of our breakthrough right now the heavenly are being activated for our help the angel Michael are being dispatched they are being dispatched right now we will not die we will see your goodness in the land of the living father we thank you that from the day we began to pray our prayers were received 
you. And you sent an angel. But right now, we come against those princes standing in the way. Every principality, every power of darkness, every wickedness that is standing in the way, be removed by the heavenly host be removed by the heavenly army heavenly host contend with those contending against my breakthrough fight with those fighting against my breakthrough we thank you Jesus we thank you Master we thank you Lord we thank you Father we thank you Jesus we thank you Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, from today, my hope will not be cut off. And my heart will no longer be sick. I will make war for my message. I will make war for my breakthrough. We are going to give to Karamoja. And uh, we want to thank all of you who have been given. And today I want you to give like the one who has faith. Because there are many people who have been discouraged. But today, give as one who has a healthy heart. Karamoja will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you just see, look at the transformations. Look at Mark's transformation. A, a boy malnourished. Now looking so healthy. Uh, look at that. Can you believe that the same person? Look at the old man who was shaking from hunger. Look at what he looks like now. Your giving is making a difference. And everyone who sows will always enjoy a harvest. Hallelujah. Look at all the, this old judge. She could not even stand. She used to crawl. Look at her now. Standing and, and dressing up. Can you imagine? About to go on a new bed. We are now irrigating the crops. Karamoja is going to have its own food and it will export its own food. But we still need um, uh, um, that those are the crops being irrigated. We still need money to, to, to keep these tractors up on ground. Money for fuel. But God is good. Again, I want to thank the visionary of, of, of Ruaga Miracle Center, the visionary of, of Cry, the Cry for Karamoja, because when the money has not been enough, he has added on money. God is good. And we know that the day is coming when Karamoja will export her own food. Um, so the number is on the line. The numbers, the numbers are on the line. There are many numbers. Please feel free to send money on the, the numbers that you see on the screen. Wherever you are watching from, there are numbers on which you can send money. Hallelujah. Amen. Feel free to send money. Um, um, and, 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 and bless Karamoja. And I know that God, because you are blessing Karamoja, God will bless you to this season. Can we stand up and, and prophesy to our seeds? To our seeds? 
Father, we want to thank you today. That as we give, it is being given to us. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Shall men give? Even to our bosom. Father, we thank you that as we give, this seed is bearing fruit in our marriages, in our families, and for our children. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. It is the work of the church to give to the hungry. And, and, and Jesus said that whatsoever you do for the least of your brothers that you do for me. So you are actually giving to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he is seated among the Karamajong. Hallelujah. And, 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 and it will never be the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please do share this message. Many people are being pledged by a spirit of delay. Hallelujah. But God is able to do so much more than we can think of or even ask for. In Jesus name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't be discouraged. Your hope will not be cut off. Do not be sick at heart. Do not allow to go to the referral or spiritual hospital. Don't allow your heart to, 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 to be your spiritual heart, your soul to, to to, to be on oxygen. You are a fighter. You are the Lord's battle axe. Yes. Yes. Are there people that 